Tato Advanced Systems has inaugurated its new composite structures manufacturing facility for Airbus in Bengaluru. Dynamatic Technologies has successfully handed over its latest vertical launch unit system to Bharat Electronics Limited, marking a key milestone in India's long-range surface-to-air missile program. Brahmo's Aerospace Executive Director has said that the Indian Air Force has formally committed to the Brahmo's NG missile, placing an order for 400 units valued at approximately 8,000 crore rupees. This procurement comes even before the missile enters flight trials, which are scheduled to begin in 2026, and this advance order reflects Air Force's strong confidence in the Brahmo's next generation missile platform. Safran is planning to increase its sourcing from India from the current 100 million euros to 500 million euros by 2030, marking a major expansion of its supply chain footprint in the country. Under a fast-tracked proposal worth over 10,000 crore rupees, India's Ministry of Defence is preparing an RFP to Russia's Rosbaron export for nearly 300 additional S-400 interceptor missiles, aimed at replenishing stock of short medium and long-range missiles. Indian Army's T-90S tanks were seen with a new counter UAV rooftop armor during desert maneuvers, that features foldable angular panels to block drone entry paths, without obstructing the commander's thermal sight or restricting movement of remote weapon station, preserving full situational awareness and hunter-killer capability. The DRDO has successfully completed full combat configuration trials of the indigenous electrical heavyweight torpedo for Calvary class submarines. With 40 plus kilometers range, 600 meter operating depth, and a near silent electric propulsion with strong countermeasure resistance, the electrical heavyweight torpedo is now production ready to replace the imported Black Shark torpedoes. India has issued a 3,485 km no time over the Bay of Bengal, from 1st to 4th December, signalling a test of the much-awaited K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missile from S-4 SSPN. The K-4 is a 3,500 km range nuclear-capable missile with a Mach 7 speed and 2-ton payload capacity, that fits the no time geometry precisely. Interestingly, a fourth Chinese spy vessel has now entered the Indian Ocean region, adding a strategic backdrop to the timing of the test window. After yesterday's report by the print, stating that no Su-57 deal will be announced during the Russian president's visit next month, and that India is seriously evaluating the F-35, new media reports now claim that India is reassessing a proposal to acquire 40 Su-57 fifth-generation fighters, including an option for joint production in India similar to the Su-30 program. The report also mentioned that Su-57's main appeal lies in its ability to carry 2,000 km range Kinzel hypersonic missile, giving India deep strike capability and stronger strategic deterrence. The report also mentioned that the Defense Ministry has already stated multiple times that no American fighter jet including the F-35 is being considered at this stage. The CEO of French firm Safran has officially confirmed that Safran will provide 100% technology transfer for the 120 kN jet engine, including the highly guarded hot section technologies, such as high temperature turbine blades combustion chambers and compressors, along with transfer of full intellectual property rights for critical engine parts. He also said that Safran DRDO collaboration will enable India to independently upgrade the engine scale up the engine to develop more powerful 140 kN engine for 6th generation fighter jet, develop new engine derivatives for next generation unmanned combat aerial vehicles, as well as marine and transport aircraft adaptations, supported by a full manufacturing ecosystem in India. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.